Yo, what is going on, guys? It's your boy, Ooch, and we're back again at it with yet another One's Justice 2 video. It's so funny how, truthfully, I really didn't expect to be doing this much content for this game, especially um, if you guys have been following my past few videos of me talking about my you know actual opinion on the the game the series so far i guess you could call it a series since this is the second iteration within its line um and it's only been a year since we've last seen my hero wants justice but this is direct off-screen gameplay footage from my hero wants justice 2 i'm gonna take a guess and say that this was taken at comic con over in new york that's actually going on right now at the time of this recording so shout outs to anyone that's over there and anyone that's actually been getting any kind of information um, as far as the mechanics, gameplay. I saw a couple pictures of um, the roster and how that looks. So it looks kind of big. It looks pretty nice. Definitely an improvement to the roster size of last year's game. But like I said, the roster size um, for last year's game wasn't even that bad. So it's basically, the, so far the notion is that this game is legitimately copy-paste. That's the rundown. If you see the trailer and... You see in my last video, you can definitely check that out for yourselves. You will definitely notice that being the first trailer, first gameplay trailer that they're showing off, and the game's supposed to come out 2020, okay? 2020 next year. And they literally revealed hella characters. That's a huge sign to me that it is essentially a copy-paste game, and they're bringing in a lot of the things that came in from the first one, which could technically not be really a good thing but we're not here to um talk about the obvious and the known stuff we're actually here to go over this 15 minutes of off-screen gameplay like uh that like i said provided by GameSpot. so shout out to GameSpot, um and hopefully uh we notice some changes and we're gonna go over exactly what we see here all right so of course this is lamillion he's part of the big three going up against all for one okay now again guys i haven't actually watched the footage until now this is the first time i'm actually seeing how this game looks looks like a new stage as well so <laughs> right off the bat i can tell you guys that the flow of the game looks a lot a lot similar to last year I'm not really noticing any kind of speed different uh, differences. The quick get up is actually something that I do notice off the bat, which actually might end up making the overall gameplay a little bit faster, more fast paced. Um, the HUD has a couple of new um, graphical improvements. Yeah, quick get ups. Okay, that's good. Quick get ups. Quick get-ups are definitely a thing. I'm sure wall splats are still a thing as well. I'm actually waiting to see um, if that's actually going to be something. If they, if wall splats are going to actually be um, still utilized or if they're taken out altogether. I'm pretty sure they're still in the game. I'm waiting to see some. But a lot, we're seeing a lot of wall bounces. So, All right, so you still have those those yellow moves, those EX moves, those the the strong moves that have you know some armor to them. They go through um, a lot of moves actually. You get ground bounces, okay? Yeah, I mean the game. The game definitely looks the same mechanically, um, but with the addition of the quick get up, that's a minor improvement that actually might make a big deal. So who knows? That's. That's probably that might be a, a a benefit for the game. It's a pretty dope ultra. Now I notice these uh glimmer he's shining blue a couple times, so that's actually something that um I need to pay a little bit more attention to exactly what that might mean. And it also seems like uh, all for one specifically got nerfed or. That's an overall, um, I guess, debuff for all the supers universally to all the characters. That actually might be something um, that, you know, for, for, for a lot... Because if you remember last year, My Hero Wants Justice, man, the supers uh, for most characters did a lot of damage. Um, and All for One, definitely being one of the more busted characters from last game, 
his 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 game overall looks like they definitely had had some solid improvement. So it's so far so good. Um, so far so good. I have to admit. All right. So of course we got Tomura Shigaraki representing that the the new swag update to his uh his wardrobe. I actually like the new look. Oh, here goes. Okay, so this is the stage that we we were shown in the trailer, which uh, has the the stage environment. We go through the freaking ground. So it looks like the f okay. So, ah, uh, okay. So you have a you have a ground splat. We, I don't know if he was uh if you could really get any kind of follow ups or setups after that. I'm sure you could get a setup in when you are more uh, conscious of it. Okay. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. Overall, the game does seem a lot faster, in that the get up mechanic is actually playing um, a really cool. Um, role in in you know changing the flow of the of the the gameplay the whole match overall just because the, the opponent can react and actually perform an action faster than what they could have done in the last game and as you see all might just did the same thing as soon as he got up he actually opted to escape to kind of regroup himself create space um, and you know, I get you know overall just think about his next move exactly before he uh, went ahead and did it. All right, so we got perfect block still looks like. Okay. I haven't. Well, another thing that um, I'm curious to seeing is like if restands are still a thing, if characters that have moves that cause you to be uh, in a stunned state um i wonder if those characters are gonna have more of, a, of an advantage because if the wall splats and the ground splats are not like in like they were last game then then the improvements are definitely the, the improvements are definitely here okay so wall splat okay so it looks like even during a wall, a, a ground splat, it doesn't look like... Well, it might, for Shigaraki's court, uh, case, it doesn't seem like uh, he can follow up after that. So far. <laughs> okay, you can still head out supers. Supers don't necessarily always have um, invincibility or priority, which is something that was in the last game too, so that's that, that kind of sucks, not going to lie, but uh, it is what it is. All Might try having a hard time getting any kind of follow-ups after. So it looks like combos might actually be or have have some heavy emphasis off of um, wall bounces. So like you might have to wait for that ricochet effect to come in. And you might even have to do, uh, dash in to follow up. And the, depending on the stage, this stage seems kind of small. So in that case, you're more you're more likely to want to stay stay your ground. So they come right back to you if you're gonna get that um, wall wall hit or wall bounce. So okay. The assists are definitely gonna play an important uh, role again as always. Game still carries like a little bit of that floatiness, which is how it was last year too combo right into his ultra so in most situations like that I'm gonna take a, uh, a stab and I'm just gonna say that a lot of characters uh, or a lot of players that choose to use assists that have like those meaty setups or anything like that where they have projectiles so they kind of time it perfectly after a ground splat that's probably the both the best opportune moment. Oh, Dobby, I can't wait. Dobby it was my main in the last game. But yeah, the, you're going to want to definitely set things up during those times so that way on wake up, will you'll probably you'll, you're more likely to open your opponent up um, once that happens. Or of course, you use the opportunity to uh, you know, run away and regroup yourself like I said earlier, which is what I noticed these players these two players are doing. Uh, right now so I don't know exactly who's playing I don't know if this is like GameSpot 
um, representatives or officials or fans that are just like you know kind of they got they got opportunity to sit in. But again, shout out to GameSpot for providing the 15 minutes of footage uh, for us to you know kind of dive into and kind of dissect all together. And I mean, you can barely tell that it's off screen because um, you know camera on a tripod does wonders, right? So okay, some more Lamillion gameplay with some Bakugo, really good stuff. Yeah, a lot of characters, um, a lot of people actually in my comment. Oh, here we go. Damn. Doesn't, okay, so for this stage in particular, it doesn't seem like it, it takes much to break the floor. Like, literally the match just started. I, I feel like whoever gets the first combo that to end it will get the ground break. So, that, who knows if that's going to be super advantageous. Bakugo pretty much looks and plays the same from what I can tell. Yeah, man. This game, you, 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 it looks like with that new get-up mechanic, um, you're actually, you're actually gonna have to play a little bit more reactionary because if you're, if you're, if you're so used to trying to follow up all the time, then what, what that's gonna do for you is it's actually gonna force you to change the way you play. Because with that in mind, like think about it. If your opponent's always used to following up as the as the a person on the on the defensive side, you could literally just quick get up and and punish them for doing so. And if you're the opponent and you're waiting for that quick get up to actually take place, you can probably block, probably respond with um, a yellow armor move. So you got options. So. I'm not gonna lie, guys. Seeing the seeing the game in action is changing my mind a little bit. But like I said, there's a couple things that I'm still wary about, and I do want to see more. Um, <laughs> more specifically, I actually want to see some of my friends that I know are really good at this game play, and see if any of their setups uh, still work as far as like the loops go and all that. I I have a feeling that they might not be able to get away with them as often, but we'll see. We'll see. Yeah, I'm not, I can't really tell if um, yellow armor moves um, cause more of a time delay with when your opponent can respond with quick getups. I'm trying to t I'm trying to pay attention to that because I know if you're just if you're ending a combo with regular hits, um, they can pretty much just quick get up like immediately after. I'm trying to see if the yellow armor moves cause um, the opponent to. Um, stay in that grounded state for a little bit longer. That that could be the case. Gonna have to uh, keep a close eye on that. Oh, okay. Endeavor. Endeavor was a really fun character to play um, at... Uh, or, I'm sorry, play as in the last game. He was uh, the second DLC if you count Shoot Style Deku. And if you don't count him, he was the first character as DLC. They only gave us two car three, but, you know, it was him and Inasa. That looks new for him. Yo, I really feel like they got rid of wall splats. I really do. Hmm. Yeah, man, like, that combo right there that he just did, guaranteed wall splat, for, if my memory serves me correctly. A lot of these characters, man, you'll get caught in the combo. It's like a launch combo that will literally put them in the wall, which you can then just proceed and follow up and continue to mess with their lives. Good punish. All right. Yep, Endeavor's a real Endeavor was really fun because he hit really hard. He hit like a freaking truck if you were up close, and he has a couple options to really keep your opponent away. He has like he could play a projectile game, he could play an up close game. He's a really good character. Yes. Oh, that caused a little stun. Got a free combo opportunity after that. Okay, I like that. He's still red. Okay, not anymore. 
See, now that I'm trying to break this down, I'm, I feel like I'm just doing play-by-play uh, com -play commentary right now, which is totally, um, totally fine with me. Wow, the angle was so off. He was able to punish... So when he's in that red state, let me just rewind that for a quick second here, guys. Give me one. I want to see actually what I want to pay attention to his to his health. Yeah. Okay. So when he's in that red state, he does lose. Uh, he does. He does lose health. Okay. He does lose some health. Oh, the first wall splat. Okay, they didn't take it out. They didn't take it out. It's still there. Okay. So wall splats are confirmed. Now. Okay, so now, before... Oh, this is almost over, so I'm going to pause really quick. So I'm pretty sure what triggers the wall splat is if you're if you're super close to the wall. Maybe. So if we, if we rewind really quick and check it out, let's see the distance that... Oh, no, he wasn't... He was not... He was, he was far. It's, it's certain moves, then. It, it, I don't know. I can't, I can't tell if it's random or if it's set moves that each character has... That has those opportunities to do so. To do so. Now, also, what I'm hoping is that if they keep the wall splats, I really hope that there's some kind of combo limiter, and it scales hella hard, so that way we don't have we you know we're not put into the like these infinite situations. Also, that sucks. This I think that was like the third attempt that this all my player went for a, an ultra, and. He got snuffed every time. That sucks. Okay, he's going for the three-man special. Wasted all his meter for nothing. Yeah, I normally never use that use those until it's like the very last round. And I'm trying to close it out and do hella damage. Alright, so of course those when the character lights up red and they go for an attack, uh, that attack's actually a grab for those that don't know. Wall splat? Yup. Yeah man, Wall All Might so far confirmed to be one of those characters that uh, has a wall splat, right, uh, so far. Surprisingly, Endeavor does not. I'm like I said, I really I'm I'm really curious if each character maybe has like a certain hit or a combo that needs to be done in order for that to happen or if it's character specific because if it's character specific that might give certain characters and matchups the upper hand because if not everybody can do it then that's kind of crazy um it's hard to say right now but you know this is the first bit of gameplay footage that we're seeing um so there you go, guys. All right, so again, thanks to GameSpot for the footage. Again, guys, this is My Hero 1's Justice 2, the sequel to 1's Justice 1. Not going to lie, this kind of makes me feel a lot better about the game overall. Um, will it fix all the issues that the last one did? I'm not too sure yet. But I can, com I can confirm and admit that it's making me feel a lot better about how the game overall will be but again we gotta wait and see like what other characters can do and what kind of advantages are met because like what we see what we see here endeavor had no wall splat hits he had no wall splat combos none of that stuff all might on the other hand he had a couple instances where he got his wall splat and that could be a defining factor for a matchup and a win so with all that being said, guys, let me know what you guys thought about the uh, gameplay footage in the comments below. All that good stuff. All the socials are going to be in the description. So go ahead, please like, share, subscribe. Hit me up on Twitter. All that fun stuff. Take care of yourselves. Have a good one. May the power protect you. I'll see y'all next time.